The Gabriel Ash Baby Grand Cold Frame. The first step is to open the two boxes the cold frame is delivered in and identify all of the components. The smaller of the two boxes contains the side panels. These are identified by their angular shape. The larger of the two boxes contains the pre-glazed lid, the front and back panel, the instructions, fixing kit and the support stays. Please note this box is heavy so you may need assistance to lift it. We then suggest you open the fixings kit and identify all the fixings using the screw kit list contained in the instructions. You will need a PosiDrive PZ2 screwdriver or battery operated drill with a PosiDriver PZ2 bit. Please ensure a good fit between the screw head and the driver bit. Identify the front panel, the narrower of the two rectangular panels. On the internal face of the frame, at the bottom of the assembly, you will find two pre-marked holes. These are to fix the stay locating block. The stay locating block is fitted as shown with two SC025 screws and two brass washers. Pre-fit the screws into the block to make it easier to locate them into the pre-drilled holes. Locate the stay locator block as shown and finally tighten the screws. At the top of the front panel you will find a 6mm pre-drilled hole. This is to fix the two lid support stays. The front face of the smaller stay has a recessed face. Thread the M6 coach bolts through the central hole as shown. Place the first of the two flat washers onto the bolt before pushing this through the hole. The larger of the two stays has an off-center hole. Place the stay onto the bolt with the shorter part to the bottom so it locates comfortably into the stay locator block. The opposite end of this stay has an angled top. Fit the stay so the angle slopes away from the front of the cold frame. Finally, fit the remaining flat washer, the spring washer and the wing nut until it's firm and tight. The stay should move relatively freely but should not be loose. To fit the front, back and side panels use screw type SC027 and the brass cup washers as shown. Fit these through the pre-drilled holes in the front and back panels. The side panels are recessed to enable the front and back panels to locate snugly. On a flat surface, offer the two panels together and tighten the screws. This process is then repeated for the other three corners. The lid is fitted to the back panel using the hinge assemblies from the fittings kit. The hinge assembly is in two parts. Separate the two parts as shown and fit the male part of the hinge to the back panel using the screw type SC125 to the pre-marked pilot holes. Repeat the process for the other hinge. Fit the remaining hinge component to the rear of the cold frame lid. The female half of the hinge has a small pip that should be located to the bottom of the frame as shown. Line up the pilot holes and fix using screw type SC125. Fit the second hinge in the same way. The cold frame lid can now be fitted by simply lining up the two hinge halves. Only when the lid is at the correct angle will the hinges slot together and hinge as normal. Your cold frame is now complete and ready to use.